गुड मॉर्निंग स्टैंडर्ड नाइन स्टैंडर्ड एट स्टूडेंट्स सम मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज फोर बी आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व टू डे एट सो यू हैव टू वॉच एट दिस वीडियो एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैन यू हैव टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन विच आई विल गिव यू विच आई विल पोस्ट यू ऑन योर व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज फाइव हंड्रेड इंटू फिफ्टी फोर एंड वेन वी राइट दिस वे एट इट मीन्स इट इज क्यूब रूट मीनिंग ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज मीन्स फाइव हंड्रेड इंटू फिफ्टी फोर एंड डेयर पावर वन बाई थ्री एट दिस इज द मीनिंग But if we write three into fifty four, five hundred into fifty four, the meaning is just three multiplied by this value, five hundred into fifty four. So don't confuse which way you write. If the three is written here, means the power is one by three. If three is written here, means the three is multiplied by this by. This is the meaning. But here in this question it is written three here means q one by three. I mean we mean we have to find the q root of this value. So how to find? Five hundred. We can write five hundred into fifty four. Can we write two into twenty seven? Two into twenty-seven means two into twenty-seven is equal to fifty-four. But when we write in this way, what happens? This Q five hundred into two become thousand and twenty-seven. So thousand into twenty-seven, their power one by three. Means this is ten cube and this is three cube. Their power one by three. That is ten. And you have solved the uh, chapter two. Now this is its power and their power will be multiplied three into one by three by using the third rule of exponent. Three to the power three into one by three. So this power and this one by three will be multiplied. Cancel. Just cancel. This is ten into three. Answer is thirty. Right. So either this question will be written in two ways. Either this way or it will be written. Find cube root of five hundred into fifty. Or this way is it written. Either written this way, then you have to write solve this question by this way. If written five, find the cube root of five hundred into fifty four. So two way we can write this questions. One this way, another this way by the statement form. Seven hundred into two into forty nine into five. Find cube root of this number. How will you find? See this type of questions. You know by prime factorization method. What you will do? You will multiply. Then you will find the prime factorization method. So we just to use some idea, trick or idea. What? 
See, this one we can write seven into hundred. Seven hundred. This is two. This is forty-nine. Seven square we can write, and this is five. All right. Now see here. This seven and this seven. Their power one, their power two. A multiplication sign is there, so it becomes seven cube. And hundred into this is hundred. I into five to the ten. Can I write? This becomes seven cube into thousand. Now this is seven cube into we can write ten cube. Now we have to find the cube root. So in place of seven three we can take one seven. In place of three ten we can take one ten. That is seventy times. Do you follow? This seven into hundred we can write seven into hundred. Two forty nine we can write seven square into five. Now this seven and this seven by using the exponent uh, exponent rules. If base is same, power will be added. So one plus two becomes seven to add three. Two into five multiplied ten. Now hundred into ten becomes thousand. Now thousand is a perfect cube of ten. Seven cube is seven. So what will I do? Seven. We follow. This way you can solve the question if it is given in the different form. Find the cube root sum minus two hundred sixty. For this, you know, a power will be odd number. The final sign will be minus, and if power will be even number, final sign will be plus. Same here. Two to the power four. What is the sign here? Plus. And what is the power here? Even number that is four. So two into two into two into two. Two to the power two is equal to sixty. But when we write minus two to the power three, sign is minus. What is power? Odd. Final sign will be minus. See here. Minus two into minus two into minus. Two. So multiply. Multiplication sign is there. Minus into minus plus minus into minus plus plus into minus minus. So what is the final sign? Minus two to the power two is right. When we write here minus two to the power two, even power. So minus two into minus two. So minus into minus plus plus. I mean. You only see the power. Power is even or odd. If the power is even, you have to write the sign plus. If power is odd and here minus sign, the final sign will be minus. That one you have to write. If we write minus two to the power six, what will be the sign? Since the power is even, the final sign will be plus. If we write We will write minus two to the power four. Power is even. Final sign will be plus. Minus two to the power three. Power is odd. Final sign will be minus. If minus two to the power five. Power is odd. Final sign will be minus. So you have to see only the power here, whether it is plus or minus. And since you have to find the cube root. It means sign will be minus always. So this question say 
you have to find the cube root of minus 260 mean we can write minus 6 to the power cube that is equal to minus 260 so cube root their power 1 by 3 of minus minus 6 into minus 6 into minus 6 this is minus 260 right coming so what is the cube root value cube root value instead of minus 6 3 times triple of minus 6 we will take one minus sign minus 6 is the answer Ripple. this way you have to find the cube root minus 1 3 3 1 what we can write we can write minus 11 to the power q 8 that is minus 1 3 3 3 so minus 11 into minus 11 into minus 11 so in place of 3 triple of minus 11 we will take only 1 minus 11 minus 11 is the answer this way you have to solve this questions 3 and 4 okay thank you very much